The Shuko is an interesting weapon because a lot of people think, oh, I can climb trees easy with these and do all sorts of stuff, catch swords. You've seen all sorts of different videos on it. Mythbusters did a really cool episode where our friends Dale Sego and Joel Everett went on and they actually showed how you can catch a sword with these. If I had Brian here and he was throwing a punch, we could look at it as just hitting with that metal strap to the back of the hand, to the elbow, all of the bony parts of the person all of a sudden become very vulnerable with these. He could throw a punch and I could pass it, hook down, cut, come in, claw down the face. You could just see this becomes really devastating instantly. He could throw the punch, I could grab on with both and yank him. Imagine having this sticking into the arm and then doing throws with this. It would just be incredible and scary how fast these become very effective. The punch comes in, whew, back into the face and grabbing, ripping down, pouncing, tearing. It's just a tear fest. So. I want you to try the Kihon Hapo, Sanshin, doing different types of movements, changing how you would attack with different types of feelings with those and how you would do it.